Um, very well, I think. Um, the language still isn't up to, up to where it should be probably, but um, the guys are doing a very good job of, of speaking English in the team. But um, no, I think it's good. You know, there's a lot of uh, familiar things to, uh, to Italy, but uh, a lot of different things as well. And of course the food is fantastic, which is a big plus, so I'm enjoying that. Um, but overall it's, it's working fine, yeah. Well, I think um, it's changed significantly, to be honest with you, because it's very difficult to tell what a team is like from the outside, and you kind of base it on, on what you see of performance as much as anything. But I think um, uh, when I came to, to the team, uh, the, the two very positive things for me were the, the team atmosphere, which is very strong. Uh, people are very keen to, to make it work. And also how big the team was. There's a lot of people. The facilities are actually at a, a very good level, I think. And in that respect, my, my uh, impression of the team has changed significantly. Um, well, as much as I've, I've been able to since September, September is quite a late time to be joining a, a car design process. But um, most of the big architectural parts of the car had already been defined. So the chassis, the wheelbase, the suspension and so on. Um, having said that, a lot of it was, you know, a very sensible direction anyway and, and kind of what I'd have, I'd have done, so I'm quite happy with that. I think the biggest part has had to, has had to be the aero and um, we made some late calls on the aerodynamics of the car uh, when I came in and um, it's been a case really of working very hard on that area and trying to turn it around as quickly as possible. So. The launch car is a spec of car, we'll have a step for the first race and then we'll go on from there continuing to build it in, in, a, new, in a new way, in a different way of working if you like. Um, I, think, <clears throat> I think it's a mix to be honest because um, every team is also different. So different technical directors have different ways of working but every team has a, a, a different way of working as well. So, for me, it's, it's a case of coming in and looking at the strengths of the team and trying to keep them going as they are or, or even improve them further. Um, and then focus, at least to begin with, on what I'd perceive to be the, the weaker areas and try and address them quickly, um, whether that's you know, a, a structural change within the team or whether it's facilities or, or whatever. So that's, that's where I've been focusing on. And um, I tend to like to work closely with with uh, the people as much as I can, but most of the emphasis has been on the performance side since I arrived, so particularly on the aero side. Um, I think <coughs> the big attributes to it, to be honest, I think are, are that it's fundamentally a completely new car. It's, it's, I think someone's on a calculation, it's 97% of a new car, so very little of TR7 has carried over to TR8. Um, <clears throat> mechanically it's a completely different platform and I think maybe one of the weaknesses of last year's car was that mechanically it didn't have um, a particularly easy, easy chassis to work with and to change and to set up. So TR8 is completely different in that respect and we're hoping that we've made the right, the right changes to make it a much easier car to work with and more versatile. Um, and on the aerodynamic side, as I said, you know, we're working very hard and we've really changed our approach completely there. So, um, you know, my hope is that that begins to become more and more obvious as the season progresses. So both mechanically and aerodynamically, we're looking to take a good step forward. Um, my impression of the drivers is very good. I think uh, both Sean Eric and, and Daniel are, are very keen, they're very... Uh, uh, talented drivers, that's for sure. Um, I think a big benefit for both of them and the team is that they're both quite different in their driving styles. So you get this uh, this mix of uh, approaches that they can both look at and analyse and, and try and figure out what they could do better, you know, compared to the other driver. So they complement each other in that respect. Um, <clears throat> they're very easy to work with, and um, I'm sure if we can give them a good car, then they'll they'll respond to it. That's, that's the plan. Um, I think um, the targets obviously depend on the competition ultimately because you never know where they are, but uh, clearly we want to have a much better year than last year. We want to show a step up. 
Um, you know, if we can get into the mix of the guys who finished ahead of us, so the teams like Williams and, and Force India and so on, um, there's anywhere from P6 downwards, and that's that's the sort of area that we've got to be targeting. You know, we have to be ambitious and try and make the biggest step we can. So we're going to be wanting to compete with them and and, and get as high up the championship as we can. Yeah, there's some minor rule changes, to be honest. It's fundamentally um, a 2013 car can be based quite closely on a 2012 car in terms of you know the regulations and how you interpret them and, and how you work with them. So a lot of what we did last year is, is good information for this year. There's no technical regulation which changes that. Um, there are a few, a few minor things like the front wing stiffness has to be better controlled and that sort of thing, but these are all fairly small. Um, I think the one strategic change, which is a, a sporting change really, is the fact that DRS usage is, is not free anymore. Before in qualifying you could use it whenever you wanted to. Now it's restricted to, uh, to the, the zones of the track where you can use it in the race. And that, that slightly changes your approach to the weekend with, with how you set the car up on wing levels and so on. But again, it's fairly small. It's a, well, it's a massive task, 2014. It's a very different car, a completely different car to what we have now. So, unfortunately, nothing really that we're doing now is directly applicable to 2014. So, in some way, you have to have two, two car programs going on at once. And for a team of STR size, that's not so easy. So, uh, I think every, every team faces the same challenge in 2013 of how you best split your resource and your effort between this year and next year. But um, you know, we're, we're working on it and uh, we have plans and um, you know, we'll, we'll adapt them accordingly depending on, on, on where we are this year.